Good morning guys, uh, my name is Colin Sharp. I've been asked to do a short video uh, with the maintenance of the conveyor AC behind me in mind. So as part of this video, uh, the conveyor that I'm talking about in the background is a uh, 35 meter long, 480 diameter centerless screw conveyor. It services uh, this building that's at the side of us here with two centrifuges in it and it takes uh, dewatered sludge up into the silo behind me. And so what has to be done as part of a maintenance regime is all the work parts in the conveyor have to be inspected, checked and replaced as required. It has a centerless screw conveyor inside it and that is sat on PE 1000 liners. So the centerless screw, what that means, it's basically a long spring and it has no center tube in it, sitting on these wear liners, delivering the sludge up into the silo. These are P1000 plastic nylon wear liners, 10 millimeter thick. So when we install these things, we always start at the top and work our way down, making sure that when they're installed, that they're tight to each, to each other. So we can't start at the top and at the bottom and then hope to meet in the middle because you'll never get the liner in. What you can do, because this conveyor has a slide valve on it, is that you can start at the bottom up to the slide valve and stop because it is a natural break in the run of liners. All of the liners have to be put in from the top and work the way down to the slide valve. Removal of the liners is relatively straightforward. You can have people at the top, middle and the bottom taking them out whenever. The, the trough then would be cleaned down before we put the new liners in. And depending on how often the screw runs will depend on how long the liners last. And so at some stage the screw within the trough will have to be changed but I'll wait until we get up top, take the cover off and I can show you the internals of the screw. Okay, so now we've got the, the conveyor cover off uh, we can actually see the, in, the insides, the liners that I was trying to explain downstairs and also the centerless screw itself. The centerless screw is 480 diameter and it's an inserted centerless screw which means you can see the insert that's welded on here as opposed to this being a standard one that is an inserted one. That is normally the case on incline conveyors, it helps stop the rollback of cake down to the bottom. So when we come to do our inspections we wouldn't do it from here we would do it from the middle which we'll go through later uh, but when we start to take out the old liners if they were worn and we were starting to take out the old liners again we would have all these covers off we would have the uh, the trough braces off here and also the nylon hold down blocks that are block that sits in the side that that pushes down on the screw here with a slight gap and it stops the screw from raising out the bottom. So what we would do from here, uh, we find out that the liners are worn, so I would have several guys on here, all the covers off, all the braces off, all the old down blocks off, and then we would start to unbolt the liners. At that point we would be looking to uh, clean the screw because at the minute it's pristine, uh, once it's had cake in it, it's nothing like this. Once we've got this in a, in a situation where we're happy that it's clean enough for us to start and line, then I would start putting the liners in from the top, making sure that every liner is butted up. So the way that we do this is, like I showed you before, the liner downstairs, that's how they come to us. We break off the banding, that releases the lining, and we would then insert the liner over the top of the screw, so it's literally over the top here, and then you can work it round the screw and tap it round into position. Once you've got it round into position and into its final location, whether it be at the top here, up to its next liner, you then drill the side of the conveyor. You can do it from the inside or the outside, through the holes, put a countersink in your drill, drill the liner, and then tighten it up. And that's the same procedure for every liner as you work your way down. So what we have here, we have the geared motor unit that actually drives the centerless screw. And if we were to change, if the centerless screw itself had worn out and part of the maintenance regime was to change the screw, then what we would have to do is unbolt it from here, probably take the drive off or 
if we don't have to change the drive plate, which is behind this cover, is we un unbolt the centerless screw from the drive plate and then we cut the old screw into sections and we would crane out the old screw sections. So the maintenance platform that I'm on here, this has been put in purely for the changing out of the liners at the top end, which we cannot access from down below with a cherry picker. So now we're in position at the midpoint. This is where we would do our inspections of the liners. Basically, these, these blocks here, these are what, when the, when the sludge is being conveyed up the conveyor, it rides under the screw and can lift the screw out the trough. So for efficiency, we need to keep it down in the trough. So that's what these are for. These are the nylon PE 1000 hold down blocks. When we're doing our inspections, these are in situ. I probably wouldn't pick this one, I'd probably pick the next one down because I can see the liner a little bit better. But is few, if you look onto the liner here, you see the red, the red line here. That is part of the liner. It's a 10 mil thick liner of which you've got 5 mil of white PE, PE 1000 and 5 mil of red PE 1000. The idea of that red, it's a wear indicator. So the majority of your wear on this liner is going to happen between half past and quarter two on this side here looking on the clock face looking up i would be looking for any tinges of red in that white liner because that tells me that the five mil white has been worn through and we can now see red that tells me that we've used 50 percent of the of the liner's life so that's what we're coming up to look at on a, on a regular basis because if you miss this and you go beyond the red what will happen is that you'll end up going through the red and through the stainless steel trough which means that we've then got to come out and start welding patches on that's what we're trying to avoid we can see over a period of time how long this conveyor will run on the same duty before we start changing liners so that's what it's all about thank you